So when I was at the shelter, um, I did counselling, um, which was very helpful. It helped me get through what I was going through in my life at the time. I just thought it was somewhere to sleep. Um, since I've been in there, I've had access to counselling. Um, I did a wellbeing course. I've done music therapy group. I've done cookery club. Um, for people that are addicts and are alcoholics, there's a mis substance misuse group. Taught me how to ride a bike for the first time ever. I learned how to become a barista. I also started working with First Bite and I've been doing it for near on two years now and I thoroughly enjoy it. I had counselling and I started to um, get involved with cookery lessons, that was on a Thursday, um, and I went to a few of the wellbeing courses. So I was given support, counselling, um, help, advice. Wellbeing helped me sleep better because I do suffer with insomnia so I don't really sleep but knowing the new techniques of um, meditation and just relaxing my body actually helped me sleep and I used to get about two hours a night and now I get about four to six hours a night. Since doing a wellbeing class actually wellbeing's I've been on my tongue every day really I suppose so where I've gone it's wellbeing 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 same as everything I do, even with friends, on the personal bit, I'm thinking of well-being. I think at the end of the day, if you've gone through a dilemma, like most of the people in there have actually gone through, I think that is a very important thing, because you need, your mind is scattered, and you need to get yourself back on an even keel, so I think that really, really did help. It's a scary thing to go from being in a night shelter support living to go to independent living, with not a clue on how bills work and what not, to have the support like there, like they don't do it for me, but they tell me, they show me how to do it. So the, the counselling helps me a lot with obviously noticing when I was going downhill and obviously stopping it before it gets too late. Um, so they, they help me a lot through obviously thinking about things to do when I'm getting into a depressive state, it's things that I can do to sort of get me out of it. Um, that helped me a lot, um, sort of give me ideas of what I can do when I'm feeling down. Very accommodating, same as of course I was doing a gym and normally when you come in at half six, uh, you know, you can't really go back out of course because that's the rules, but because I was doing gym classes and they gave me the chance, breath lights when I came in of course, and they're very good, and the night shelter were very good on that because it would have drove, drove me nuts if I had to stay in from half six each night when I wasn't doing these classes, so uh, what in the word be, very accommodating, very accommodating. The other two guys that I live with do need some help because they will have problems in doing things that when they have to deal with people like the DWP in the job centre, which can be quite daunting for people, I know. So I think it's, it is good support and she will sort out all the paperwork that they need to, needs to be done and any issues that they can't understand. So it's very, very, very helpful and very good. So what it did for me, it gave me a platform to, to rebuild. Um, and I thought, you know what, this is not the end of anything, this is the beginning of something. I think everybody that's involved with the shelter, including the charities that help, and the volunteers and the workers there as well, all put in something that makes it worthwhile and beneficial for people. <laughs>